everybody, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, the anomaly, Dwayne O'Neal Robinson, back at it again with another YouTube video. Listen, if this is your first time clicking onto my channel or onto one of my videos, I want to welcome you to the D Space. This is a space and a place for you to gain positivity, motivation, and inspiration all through the means of laughter. And I strongly encourage you to click on that subscribe button and on that bell. Therefore, when I upload, which is every single Thursday, you will be notified. And to my original subscribers, thank you so much for your love and continuous support. Last but not least, don't forget to click on that like button button for this video. Therefore, it can help with the YouTube algorithm to make this channel and my platform grow. Thanks. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. It's time for the Black History Fact and Cut. So today's Black History Fact that I will be presenting to you is, did you know in 1777, the first state in the United States to abolish slavery was the state of Vermont? Get this, in 1791, in order for them to become the 14th state within the U.S. Union, they had to amend that law, basically get rid of it. So they had to reinforce slavery back into the state of Vermont. And that is our Black History Fact for today. All right, everybody, today's topic that I will be discussing is feeling lonely. This is a feeling that we've all experienced more than once in our lifetime, right? And as we get to different levels in our lives, it can either enhance or decrease or the weight of being or feeling lonely could really weigh on you. All right, so I just want to discuss that today, uh, give you all some tips uh, in order to combat your loneliness. So if you're feeling lonely, number one, number one, you need to talk about it. If you are feeling as if you are in dealing some type of burden in any way, shape or form, you need to talk about it with someone that you know, that you trust, that you could confine it and say, hey, you know, I'm really feeling down. I'm feeling kind of out. I'm feeling low. I'm feeling lonely. I feel like there's nobody in this world that supports me or care for me, which is not true. It's just the negative thoughts that get in our mind from time to time, right? And it happens to all of us. We're human. So you need to find a way to verbalize it. You need to find a way to filter it out. Some people like to write. Some people like to sing. Some people like to use various different ways of expressions to let it out. But you need to talk about it. You need to verbalize it. That's number one. And you need to figure out, the second thing you need to do is figure out why you're feeling lonely. Okay, why are you feeling lonely? Is it because you're single and you feel like you're ready for a mate? Are you literally alone, like you're away from family, you're away from friends, you're away from your support system? Are you feeling as if you need like your best friend or if you need to be around people because you've been, you know, isolated, especially for the whole COVID-19 pandemic situation? You know, we need human interaction because it's not good for man or a woman to be alone, but we, we need that interaction. So you, you got to figure out as to why you're feeling lonely. And is it really something that you need to learn to go through? It's a growing pain, right? Because it's important for you to learn to be alone and, and know yourself and feel comfortable with yourself and get to know who you are as an individual. So feeling lonely is not necessarily a bad thing, but it may be a season in your life with wherein you need to go through that character development. OK, but if you feel like you've already surpassed that and now you're trying to be outside, you're trying to socialize and have a good time and meet new people and do things like that. It's important for you to definitely understand like, OK, this is why I'm feeling lonely and how am I going to combat it? What am I going to do? Third thing, come up with a plan, right? Come up with a plan. So. You know why you're feeling this way and you're going to come up with a plan. And now this plan may be a little bit risky. It may cause you to do some things that's outside of your comfort zone. But you know what? It's very important for you to become 
uncomfortable so therefore you can make yourself comfortable in the situation all right so you're gonna have to learn some new things some new styles some new cues some be around completely different people uh and and the scary thing about it is this no one likes to be living or surrounded by people and they feel alone that is the most horrible feeling. It's really, really not a good feeling. People feeling alone. However, you have to understand there are some times that it's warranted, like I stated before, but there are some other times that you just have to learn how to be within your own being. And once you're comfortable and confident within yourself, you can go out there and show the world who you really are. And you could gain new friends, network, do something new that you've never done before. And it may be something that is costly or it could be something that is free. You understand? So it's very, very good to understand. All right. I'm feeling alone and to know that you're not alone. Truly, you're not. If you, you'd be surprised how many people are out there that are struggling and dealing with things, especially within the millennial generation. You know, we were taught this whole life plan. We go out there, we go to school, get good grades, get an education, and we live a very fabulous life. And we feel, a lot of us feel within our generation, we have not hit the target, we're missing the target, we haven't hit the mark, and we feel lonely, we don't feel successful, we don't feel good enough. I'm here to tell you, as I speak to you, I'm speaking to myself, it is okay. You're gonna get the right group of people, the right individual, the right pet, you know, the kids, all of that. If it is for you, no one could be against you, but it has to be at the right time. It has to be at the right time. And if you are feeling alone, please reach out to someone. Please talk to someone. Understand why you are feeling alone and make sure you do something to make yourself feel better. Meet someone new. You might never, you might never know. You might meet a new best friend or you might meet your spouse. You might learn something or a skill that could kind of just direct you in the way that for the new season in your life that's coming that you need to do or to just target and focus on something completely new or this may be the season and time like i said that you need to focus on yourself so grow be the best you go out there the world has over seven billion people out there trust me somebody's out there for you somebody is willing to cheer you on and vice versa you have to talk about it. You have to verbalize it. You got to pray about it. God will never, ever, 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 ever leave you or forsake you. You are never alone. You may feel that way. However, you have to know. You got to know. You got to believe you're not alone. And that's the best advice that I could give to you today. I hope you learned something new. And again, until next week, Thursday, peace.